Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This episode's gonna be a little bit different from what we normally do. Normally we're camping, kayaking, canoeing, something crazy. This one is more of a how-to video. Uh, this weekend, Jan and I decided to put the numbers on uh, UNO because we're gonna be going to the International Rally in Virginia for the Wally Byam Club. Uh, one of the prerequisites is that you uh, have to have your member ID numbers either permanently affixed to your trailer or on a separate board or carrying device that you can attach to your trailer while you're at the rally. Uh, we decided to go the traditional route and put the numbers on the trailer. It's been a long time and it took us a while to decide how to uh, to put the numbers on, whether we wanted them physically attached to the trailer or on a separate sheet. I think the thing that finally uh, sealed it for us was we were talking about um, when I was a kid and I would travel with my mom and dad uh, in their Airstream and these numbers we were lucky enough to get the exact same numbers that my mom and dad had on their airstream uh, so we uh, kind of have a little bit of history uh, behind those numbers and i can remember when we would travel one of the highlights of keeping me quiet as a little kid was uh, finding the numbers on airstreams as they went by and then we would look them up in the wally byam uh, member book and find out who they were so we're going to stick with tradition and uh, fix the numbers permanently to our trailer like they're already done here. Uh, but this video is a how-to video. I couldn't find one on YouTube about how to affix the numbers. Uh, the instructions that came with the numbers were pretty good, but there were some things, little details that uh, I thought I would work out while I put the numbers on and uh, share them with you guys. Uh, so in case you had the same questions I did, this might answer them for you. Uh, the uh, main thing that I had was about the soapy water that they suggested about using that to keep the numbers from sticking to the trailer too quickly and I can tell you that was a good idea so you'll follow along in the video and you'll see how I use that soapy water so without further ado here's the episode the following are the supplies you will need to successfully install the WBCCI numbers a piece of thin cardboard a pen a ruler a pair of scissors a spray bottle with a soap and water solution, your WBCCI numbers, some painter's tape, and finally a square for marking the centers of the numbers. The very first thing we've got to do is lay out our numbers in a pleasing spacing. I'm fortunate because all of our numbers are approximately the same width, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, if you have a one uh, in your numbers, that's going to require a little more playing around with your spacing. Uh, but I just kind of spread my numbers out to where the numbers looked fairly appe appealing. Uh, and then I uh, got my ruler out and I just started measuring. I know the centers of the numbers are approximately two inches because the numbers are about four inches wide. So I know I need to be somewhere about two inches in the middle. So if I look at about the center of that number and about the center of that number, and I start spreading them apart, I don't know, that probably looks pretty good there. Somewhere around six inches looks like a pretty good distance. Again, right now I'm just trying to get an idea of, you know, what spacing looks good. So that looks pretty uniform across there. I think, uh, I think that number looks pretty good six inches between them looks like it's pretty good so if i use six inches as a rule that's about six inches yeah i think six inches six inches looks pretty good so that's that's the number i'm going to use six inches to uh to space the numbers on the trailer okay so now the next thing i've got to do is put some kind of line along here that i know is level and then i can put little marks on to guide me to where the centers of those numbers that we laid out should go so all i'm going to do is i'm going to put a piece of tape right along the top of those airstream numbers because i'm assuming that airstream put those numbers on level and straight i'm going to hope for that i think they are they look pretty straight i think going down the road at 60 mile an hour that will appear to be straight for, for my purposes. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do is put a line of tape across there that I can put some marks on that show me the centers of where my numbers go. We already found the center, which was six inches on center for each number. So I'll find the center across the airstream and then mark out from the center of that. Doing that should give me a straight and level line marked on centers to put the numbers so they're nice and even on the front of the airstream. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so I've got the green tape on the top of the Airstream now, and I've marked the intervals at six inch intervals 
uh, the spacing for the center of the numbers just like we determined over on the back of the truck. So I've got that line established. The next thing I have to do is establish a line across the top. That allows me to get vertical centers on the numbers, not only the bottom line but the top. That way they appear to be parallel to one another across the top of the Airstream. So the next thing I'll do is make a cardboard template that's a little bit bigger than the number so that, the, that when I put a piece of tape across the top, it'll give me enough space to maneuver the numbers around. And I think giving myself about three-eighths of an inch top and bottom of the number, I'll still be able to line the center of, of the number up with the mark. I don't think it's going to be that critical looking at it from the road or when the cars are passing by. We'll try and see, but I think that should be good enough. So that's my next step is to cut a piece of cardboard that's approximately the same height as the numbers. So what I've done is I've grabbed one of my numbers, the larger number, and I've measured across the top and I've gotten an idea about how big it is. Then I got a piece of cardboard and made it just slightly bigger than the height of the number. That way I can use this as a template for putting the tape across the top of the trailer. I'll lay this on the top of the trailer and then put the tape across the top. That should work good. Okay, so now that I've got my piece of cardboard, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the cardboard on top of this tape and then I can put another piece of tape across the top and mark that same center line on that tape on the top. And that way when I put my number in there, I can get it aligned uh, vertically so that all numbers are parallel. So that's why I used a piece of cardboard that was fairly thin so that it'll bend to the shape of the Airstream. If I had to use something rigid, it wouldn't have bent and I wouldn't have been able to align the piece of tape to the top. So that's my next step is to get pieces of tape that align across the top of this piece of cardboard and then I can mark my center lines on the top tape and the bottom tape so they correspond when I put the numbers up there. So hopefully this will allow me to get the numbers nice and parallel on the Airstream. Okay, so now that I've got my area marked with my center lines, the next thing to do, I've already washed the front of the trailer uh, with soap and water this morning to get all the bugs and everything off of it, but I'm just gonna make sure that there's no grease left from my hands or any dirt or anything that I may have put up there while I was working on it. So I'm just gonna take um, like some Windex or you could multi-purpose clean or anything like that. I'm just gonna try to clean the front of it where the numbers are gonna go just to make sure there's nothing up there that's gonna get behind the number and make the number come off later. So that's my next step is just to real quick kind of do a secondary clean on the front of the Airstream where the numbers are going to go so I can make sure that I get a good bond between the number and the trailer. At this point, we are ready to start applying the numbers. We start by spraying the trailer surface with a solution of soap and water. We use this same solution to spray the adhesive side of the number as we remove it from the backer. Doing this prevents the number from sticking to itself, and I can't stress this enough, the numbers are very sticky. Spraying the numbers with a solution makes it possible to apply the numbers without fear of ruining one of the numbers. During this step, we are not trying to stick the numbers to the trailer. We are just trying to get them positioned correctly. Okay, so I have finished putting the numbers on the front of the trailer. They are not completely dry yet, so one bit of advice I can give you is don't try to squeegee all the water out from under the numbers right away. I was trying to do that and the numbers kept moving around, so I'm gonna let them sit a little bit longer. I got a lot of the water out of there, but it's not completely out, so I think I'm gonna let them sit for maybe about 30 minutes. They are positioned properly. They're square, they're plumb, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to let some of that water dry from underneath the numbers to let the adhesive kind of adhere to the trailer so that when I do try to squeegee the rest of the water out, the numbers don't move around. So I think that is one key thing is don't try to squeegee all the water out immediately. Just get them positioned where you want them so that you know that they're properly aligned and then let the water dry a little bit before you try to squeegee the rest of the water out. I think that'll give a better result in the end. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and try to squeegee the rest of the bubbles out and any little pockets of water that are left. But so far it's gone pretty good. In this step, we slowly squeegee the water out from behind the numbers. Don't rush this step. Work slowly from the center of the numbers and push the water out to the edges. Increase the pressure as more of the water is released. Our goal is to remove all the water bubbles from beneath the numbers. As the numbers start to adhere to the surface of the trailer, it becomes easier to work the water out from beneath them. 
Okay, so I have finished putting the numbers up. I've let them dry for between 15 and 20 minutes. I know I said 30, but the more I was watching it, it's pretty dry out today and there's a lot of sun, so that water was drying pretty quick. So I only really waited about 15 or 20 minutes. I would imagine the amount of time you have to wait depends on your climate. So just kind of keep an eye on the water uh, that's on the outside of the trailer and it'll give you an idea of when you should do it. So all I did was I used just a little cheap plastic card that was a record, rewards card from a store and I just started in the center and worked my way out very gently at first until I could squeegee some of the water out. But once you get a big portion of the water out, it really starts to stick to the trailer. Uh, I can't stress enough, that soapy water makes adhering these numbers possible. Once you start peeling those numbers off, you're gonna notice that they are very sticky and that soapy water allows you to move them around. I think your chances of getting those numbers on there without using the soapy water, is probably about zero. They are so sticky that even getting them off, you have a hard time keeping them from sticking to your fingers. So spray them with soapy water front and back and the trailer and that makes positioning those uh, numbers and let the numbers very easy. Uh, the only thing I've got left to do now is put the wall Biome sticker in the center above the four numbers. The back of the trailer is identical to what I'm doing on the front with the exception of I've got a camera on the back of the trailer so I'm going to separate the numbers uh, two on one side of the camera and two on the other. I'm going to try to keep them as close as possible but that's the only difference. I'm probably not going to go as in-depth uh, when I put the numbers on the back. Um, I'll probably just shoot a time-lapse video of me putting the uh, numbers on the back because it should be just the reverse order. Uh, you know, marking where the numbers should go, spraying, and then adhering the numbers, and then squeegeeing. So I think this was a big plus. I hope this video helps somebody uh, put their numbers on their trailer because I couldn't find one. Uh, if you like the video, give it two thumbs up. If you have some comments about how I uh, adhered the numbers, if there's a better way to do it, please feel free to leave the comments in there anytime we can help somebody else with something. I think that's a big plus. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. The last step in our process is to install the Wally Biome Club sticker. This sticker should be centered above the numbers on the front and rear of the trailer. This sticker has a traditional adhesive and has a split backer that will act as a hinge while applying it. The first step is to clean the surface of the trailer so no debris will be trapped beneath the surface of the sticker. Next, I attached a small piece of painter's tape to the top of the sticker so I could position it correctly on the trailer. Remove the bottom portion of the backer and use the painter's tape as a hinge to guarantee the correct placement of the sticker. Once the bottom portion of the sticker has been applied, you can remove the painter's tape and the remaining backer from the sticker. Slowly work your way up and out from the center of the sticker, being careful not to crease it, which would create a wrinkle in the final product.